The girl died in the pool at home. The father accidentally travels back in time, and he decides to change all the tragedies. After his wife leaves the house, David decides to go to his lover's house to make out with her. He refuses his daughter's invitation to catch butterflies with him and quickly leaves. When it's over, David leaves his cell phone at his lover's house. He didn't realize it and rushed back home, but his daughter drowned in the pool. After that, the family was ruined. Five years later, David went to the pool where his daughter died and chose to kill himself, but he was saved by his friend Max. He was still sad and could always feel his daughter watching him. David escaped when his friend wasn't looking. Then a butterfly caught his attention. Following the butterfly, David went through a long tunnel. After opening the door, the outside world made him feel a little dazed. It was the world from five years ago. The day he turned down his daughter's invitation and walked into his lover's house, David reacted quickly and rushed to the family pool. What he had regretted five years ago, he had finally saved in this moment. David hugged his daughter and didn't speak for a long time. That moment, David from five years ago came back from his lover's house. The two came face to face and they were both stunned. David had inadvertently killed the man he was five years ago. When he didn't know what to do, his daughter appeared behind him. He led his daughter back to her room and regained his composure after disposing of the body. David decides to take the place of the person. He was five years ago and continue his life with his wife and daughter. Everything seems to be back to square one. He is very happy with his life now. However, his wife found the cell phone he left at his lover's house. In order to get his cell phone back, David had to sneak into his lover's house again. But his friend Max found out. He questioned his best friend what happened. David had no choice but to tell the truth. He said he wasn't David now. But from five years later, he accidentally killed his current self and buried the body in the backyard. Max was so confused, he didn't believe it. At home, his daughter drew pictures of what she saw. Max finds David's body in his backyard. He can't make sense of it all and doesn't believe the man in front of him is David. During the argument, an old man from next door approached quietly and knocked Max to the ground. Afterward, he calmly taught David how to dispose of the body. He's also the one who came through the tunnel. He killed himself in this world too. Besides him, many others have traveled through the tunnel for a new life. They choose to bury themselves from five years ago in the ground. One day, the wife says goodbye to her neighbor. She turns her head and meets the neighbor dressed in a different outfit. Mary sensed something was wrong and followed her. She accidentally saw the murder of the neighbor's family, and the murderer was themselves. Mary's cry of surprise alerts the people in the room to her presence. She rushed home with the girls beside her and told her husband. He ponders how to tell the truth to his wife. Mary, that's when the other Mary called. She also came back from five years later to the present. She decides to kill the current Mary and start over with David. With a calm face, David said to let him do it, but he informed his wife and daughter to run away when he got home. He drove his car and attracted the attention of the old man next door. Mary rushed to the tunnel with her daughter. On the way, she met her other self. Mary from five years later couldn't bear to kill them and let them go. That's when everyone noticed the mother and daughter. David's car stopped in front of them as he watches his wife and daughter disappear into a tunnel. He crashes his car into the entrance. The movie ends here and all is over. Looking at Mary from five years later, David didn't say anything. They didn't regret their decision. Even if they killed themselves, they couldn't make up for the mistakes of their lives. Even though they changed the past, they still continued their tragic life. Life can't start over. Let's cherish the life we have now. This is the end of this movie. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to me. See you next time.